Hi YouTube, Feds UFO here again. Uh, I just thought I'd do a, a really quick review of um, my uh, camo body warmer that I normally take out with me, uh, either camping or I'll put it on when I'm driving anywhere or if I'm out in the cold just to keep uh, the chill off. Uh, it's been a good bit of kit this. I uh, got it off uh, eBay a while back but uh, I did my uh, little pack review the other day so I thought I'd follow it up with this one. Uh, as you can tell it's your uh, camouflage uh, quilted, actually nice and soft there, quilted body warmer. Uh, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pockets. There's a big poacher's pocket at the back. Uh, ten pockets in it. There's an inside one here. Uh, I'll just turn this over. As you can see, there's something in it already. It is my. Bowfang UV3 R <laughs> plus <laughs> with Nagoya. So that fits really snugly into the inside pocket there. I uh, like to carry a radio around with me. As you guys well know who watch my uh, videos, got a nice sturdy zip. As you can see, it's a uh, proper uh, decent zip. It goes all the way, obviously, all the way up to the collar. The collar has a, a zip on it which has a hood so you can pull that and get a hood out you know, you've probably seen this before there's a big poacher's pocket around the back although I'm not going to turn it over I'm just going to show you some contents what I've got in it uh, this one actually has a hole in so there's nothing in there as such this one I always carry this uh, it's my headlight I've just got a cheap pound shop uh, uh, cover for it. It's actually for an MP3 play. Where you put the headphones out of there, but uh, it does well for me. Headlight keeps the rain off. It's cool. Uh, this is a great bit of kit. Want me, mate? Steve, give me. It's uh, called a a match. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> it's like a fire steel. Uh, there, and you take the pin out the middle. And it has the striker and the cotton already in. So it's a strike anywhere, match sort of thing, good fire lighter. You put a blob of petrol in and it lasts for ages, got nice rubber seal. So that stops in on my keychain, plops in the pocket there. Going down, first pocket, we have <laughs> paracord, any amount of it. As you can see I've got paracord, I've got uh, this pearl on rope stuff. These you normally I just have these for my uh, uh, tops. There's a nice big bit there which should have a loop in it already and that is used as a ridge line. So that's that for that one. Another pocket. We have cigarette papers. Tic Tocs. <laughs> uh, I have electrical tape there. It's nice and light to carry around. The multi tool. And a spare lighter. I think I do have another spare lighter somewhere as well. Uh, oh, there's actually another pocket in there. I don't know if you can see that. Second pocket is it's divided into two, so even more pocketry we got so I'll put these to one side go up the next section of me jacket like I say that top one's uh, got a little hole in it so I don't bother putting anything in there now it's been worn to death over the year uh, space blanket in there bottom pocket we have the main section, what I always carry with me. We have on the lanyard uh, fire steel and striker, a, 
pocket compass which flips open there we go which does work north should be there yeah that's about right so a nice little Chinese pocket compass I've got a couple of quid uh, little lamp I managed to pick up somewhere bright nice bright LED in it you can actually flash it so you could do Morse if you wanted and uh, from a distance it should be alright this here is a uh, the P35 uh, can opener I've used that a couple of times really good bit of kit dirt cheap and the last bit is a whistle pretty cool pretty loud as you can see so that's uh, my little basic survival kit that I bring with me uh, let's see what else we have in here yeah pen knife pick this up just check there's nothing else no yeah pick this pen knife up from uh, the pound shop again at I'm not sure how many items it has on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight items on this. So I'll just pop the camera down and uh, show you exactly what's in it. First of all, corkscrew or bottle opener, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, it's like a file, the next one. A file or a. Uh, it's got a little point on the end there. You always get these with Swiss Army knives, that kind of thing. It's got a ridge section there. So you use it as a uh, strike in your steel or whatever. Um, we have Phillips, Phillips ended screwdriver as the third item on this side. Turn it over. Your obligatory bottle opener. Oh, put a hole in the can, whatever. Flip the side over. It's another one, but that's got a bit of a spike at the end. Uh, I like these. These are great. Proper pair of scissors. <laughs> and they do cut extremely extremely well and cut cardboard uh, you know small cigarette packets or uh, papers packets with these uh, pretty sharp they're good use them a couple of times next thing is a small saw blade and those are very sharp I'm feeling it rub on my thumb extremely sharp those so you have the saw blade there and the last one, last but not least, yeah, that we're out slicing my fingers off, is the knife. A little pen knife. Now, I'll, the thing I like about these is you can carry them around and it's street legal because it's a multi tool, it's a multi function tool. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a screwdriver end on that uh, other one as well, the flat end screwdriver on that bottle opener. So, you get all that for a pound. In the pound shop, uh, I was really pleased with this, so I bought two of them. And uh, that knife blade is very, very sharp. So mind your fingers, guys, if you're uh, thinking to get one. But I just thought for a pound, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. I mean, that that saw blade's amazing. It's very uh, sturdy. It's very sharp. So I'll just put these items back in. All of them slot nicely. It's pretty well made uh, for a pound. And I don't think you can go wrong with it. Nice silver finish. It's very light, very lightweight. And it goes along with the rest of my kit. Oops. There you go. So that's basic survival gear in there. Uh, the rest of it's. Uh, just goes in the coat 
and that's what I carry with me basically all the time. So, hope it's given you some more ideas, guys. Uh, it's not very heavy, the coat or anything, it oh, does, it feels, you know, pretty robust. It's uh, lightweight, sadly it's not waterproof, but uh, it does keep you warm. Uh, if you've got another top on the, on the top of it, you put that on, it's just your body warmer. It's a uh, nice bit of kit, I think they're about 20 quid, something like that. Woodland camo, you can get all sorts of colours for them. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, like I say, I never leave home without it. Uh, and I'm always warm. I've got a hood if it rains. And uh, I've got all my bits of stuff down there. <laughs> go into the pockets. Nice big poacher's pocket. I'll turn it over now. Just so you can see the big poacher's pocket at the back there. It's uh, it's massive. So I dare say you could stick a rabbit or something in it. Maybe it's a small rabbit. But uh, yeah, it's nice. It's good. 20 quid I thought was a bargain. Good camo colour, woodland, and uh, it's really warm. So lads, there you go, there's my uh, review of uh, my camouflaged body warmer with how many pockets were there? <laughs> 12, 13, 13 pockets or something like that. Cool, okay, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, hope to make another one very, very soon. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, all the best. See you soon, bye bye.